What's going on guys? Eagle Aquatics back here and today I got another care guide coming at you guys. This time on the one and only cleaner shrimp. Personally, my favorite species of reef shrimp I have ever kept while uh, in this hobby, in the reefing hobby. Um, this is going to be your favorite invert yet in your tank. I can guarantee you that. Uh, they're some of the coolest creatures um, you can put in there and they're so cool to watch. Uh, my experience keeping these, uh, keeping multiple cleaner shrimps over the years in uh, multiple reefs like my BioCube, the 60 gallon, eventually my 125, um, is that they are uh, such a fun creature to have in the reef and uh, I guarantee we'll always have one in my reef tank. I'll always have one because they're so cool. Uh, I've found them to be the funnest shrimp to keep out of all the shrimp I've kept. I've kept like coral banded shrimps, blood red, cherry shrimps, um, peppermint shrimps, uh, stuff like that. And uh, they have a really good uh, personality also. Um, now they get the name uh, cleaner shrimps because in the wild, if you ever watch those documentaries, you'll see they'll actually clean parasites off the fish. And if the fish is big enough, they'll actually go inside their mouths and clean their mouths up. Um, but even in your aquarium, they will clean parasites and your fish, like my purple tang and uh, coral bee, the angelfish, um, are always wanting cleaning from this guy. Uh, and he keeps them, it's pretty cool. Awesome. And uh, I've actually trained mine to clean off my hand. These guys will clean your hand if, uh, if they get comfortable and confident enough to uh, do it. So that's really cool, really cool. So uh, now the care level on these guys is super, super easy. Uh, these guys are probably the easiest shrimp to take care of. Um, just be sure to keep your water quality uh, good, keep doing the water changes, and your shrimp will be very healthy. Um, remember that these guys cannot tolerate high levels of nitrate so uh, keep that in check. Normally by just doing water changes or having good filtration, your nitrates shouldn't be that high. And uh, these guys are extremely intolerant. You cannot put these guys in a aquarium treated with copper. Uh, copper is in a lot of medicants that can kill diseases off your fish. Um, this copper medicants and stuff like that will kill these shrimp as well as multiple other inverts. So never do that. Uh, my personal recommendation for the tank size for these shrimp, uh, I personally think it should be no less than 10 gallons. Um, any tank more than 10 gallons, 10 gallons or more, is perfect for these guys. They don't need a lot of space. Uh, they like hanging around the rocks. Uh, just give them plenty of rock and an overhang or two, uh, and they will do perfectly fine in any small water aquarium. Uh, just make sure they're not housed with very aggressive creatures. And I can't stretch enough that it is super important to feed these guys regularly because they love to eat just as much as the fish. Uh, these guys have a very, very big appetite. That's for sure, that's what I figured out. Now a lot of people complain that uh, these shrimp will steal all the food from the corals. And this is due mostly uh, because those people don't feed them on a regular basis like I do. Uh, if you feed them, Regularly along with your fish like direct feed your shrimp. They will not steal food from your coral um, They my my shrimp ignore my coral because I feed them um, a lot um, So uh, I feed mine uh, about every other day uh, with a small piece of krill and uh, That usually sustains him for about two days uh, he'll, he'll jump around and go after some of the flakes when I feed flakes, but yeah, one piece of krill um, will do, but these guys eat anything the fish, uh, anything you feed your fish, they'll eat. Uh, they love eating and they'll, they'll accept like any food, trust me. Uh, they are peaceful, uh, they won't bother any other cleaner crew members. Uh, just make sure you don't house them with shrimp eating fish, like hawkfish, a lot of hawkfish eat shrimp and inverts and uh, lionfish also, they got big mouths. Anything with a big mouth is more than likely gonna get your shrimp. Uh, that's only a few fish, few examples. But, um, yeah, uh, they, they're super peaceful. Um, 
they will not attack any other cleaner crew members. Uh, other shrimp are more likely to bother this guy than he is to bother them. So they, uh, to me, uh, these guys are the most reef safe inverts you can buy. Like extremely reef safe. They will not bother a thing, and they're very beneficial to having a reef tank because they do clean off the fish and they are uh, a good cleanup crew member. They'll pick up uneaten food and stuff like that. Uh, the max size on these guys is around two to three inches of body length, not including the super long antennas. Um, include those in your length, uh, probably doubles or triples, because those antennas are about the length of the body or a little more. Uh, sometimes they can get twice the length of the body, like that coral banded shrimp, those tentacles are huge, or antennas, whatever you say, um, but they're extremely big, so that's one of the coolest parts. Uh, about shrimp is their giant antennas. They're so cool. Um, now the color pattern on these guys are super cool. They have that distinct, um, the white stripe in the middle, uh, surrounded by two red, red stripes running down its back, which is probably where they get the name uh, skunk cleaner shrimp because that pattern resembles that closely to a skunk, except different colors. And then the rest of their body is more of a yellowish in color. Um, and of course they have the white antennas. Uh, just super cool colors on this guy. And, uh, very active fit, very active shrimp. He is always out, never hides, even during the day. He's always out looking for food, exploring. Just a great inhabitant uh, for the reef tank. Um, now these, uh, these little shrimp, uh, they can get pretty pricey compared to other cleaner crew members like hermit crabs and like coral banded shrimps, which are like 15 bucks. Uh, the price on these guys usually is around 20 to $30, at least in my area. Um, I've never seen them over $30, but I mean, that is pretty expensive for shrimp, but it is, trust me, it is totally worth every penny because you will love this guy. It'll be the coolest invert you add to your tank, guaranteed. Uh, they're so cool. Um, so yeah, that's about all I got to say about these guys. So you got to go. They're extremely common. You can find them at any pet store, any local pet store that sells uh, saltwater fish will more than likely have these guys. Uh, so you got to go. If you have a reef tank, you got to have one. They're the staple in a reef tank and a reefing hobby. So definitely go pick one up. Uh, also, be sure to check out my other care guides on my care guide playlist. If you go to my channel, click on playlists, playlist button, you'll see it. Uh, I've got tons of care guides and everything, making more constantly. Uh, the link is in the description for that playlist and all my other playlists. Uh, and also go check out on the 125 gallon reef build series, as there's also playlists. It's gonna be super awesome. Be sure to head over to my Instagram page at Eagle Aquatics, all lowercase letters, and give me a follow for some exclusive content not seen on my channel. Also be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.